good clean fight. And the bell rings, come out fighting. Three rounds for the vacant WKA New York State Junior Middleweight Championship. All right, getting ready to start round one for the vacant New York State title, the WKA New York State title between DeJore Bailey at Arami Elite and Sean Ellis at Anderson's Martial Arts. We've seen Sean Ellis m many times on uh, Friday Night Fights. Very strong guy, very athletic guy. Jor looking to set up that right hand, Just kind of pawing his hand out, trying to check that distance. Nice body shot lands there by DeJour Bailey. And nice it, spin off. Yeah, nice. you can see like um, DeJour stands up a little high when he's in the clinch. He, he doesn't get himself settled, so it was kind of easy to be swept there. Staying active, but clinch. you know, it's just kind of a lot of these legs. going to the legs on this. Yeah. I mean, Ellis is Ellis is very much keeping his weight on top of the jar. Yeah, and it's it's and, exhausting, yep. and he's waiting for him to be off balance. Like I said, he's standing up, uh, you know, also high and leaning his weight on him. Doesn't allow him to get his knees up to the body, which is you know a great defensive technique, but you got to take that somewhere. You can see that when when. Um, Sean Ellis does throw his knees. He's he's putting more weight behind it. Yep. You know he's, he's kind of jumping into it, nice. putting a lot of weight behind it. And again, that that doesn't necessarily score high, but it shows the judges that you're you're dominant and that you have control. I mean, spinning back kick, and that ends. Yeah. All right, here we go. Starting round two with his junior weight title fight right now. You Sean off. Ellis just coming out with athletic techniques. He was a jumping knee. He's lo really looking to dominate here. Throwing his opponent off bounds, keeping him in a corner. DeJore Bailey turning and trying to keep Ellis in the corner here. And again, Ellis is keeping his weight on top of him, not allowing him to get the range on those knees and being able to catch his knees to the body. Also keeping his hands really high. Yep. He can't bring his hands back down. He has a hard time really, you know, creating any space. And he's creating tremendous torque and tension with those knees. And it's using exhausting. De, yep, using Dijon as, a, as basically a bag. Well, what he does is he pulls him towards him so that he can really dig his knees in. Dijon gets out of that. Ellis keeping him back with a tee. The, that knee technique very, very um, almost mirroring A.J. James in a way. A.J., is, I mean, you know, explosive knee work. Yeah, it was his signature move and one of his favorite things to do. Nice combination nice there by Elvis. You can see Anderson Martial Arts is telling Ellis to keep pressure, to keep moving forward. And he's sitting, I, I don't, I'm not sure about him sitting back on that right foot so much. Oh, nice little, uppercut that lands there in the middle of that exchange. Body kick. He was really, you know, just pushing DeJour back. Right hand over the top lands by DeJour. Jumping, spinning back kick right to the midsection that ends the second round. Oh. All right, so here we go, going into the third oh. round, spinning back fist that lands. Just a lot of energy and a lot of want here and desire by both guys because again, this is for that junior middleweight New York State title, which is vacant. Now again, a little bit of inactivity, so the ref feels that it's time to break that clinch up. 
Nice combination, one, two, three, that lands by Ellis. Sidekick. All kick. three landed. Good angle out, steps out. What he looks for when he has the clinch is, is what he, you know, kind of trying to control the head so that there's really and not much room for DeJore to go. And quite honestly, he's smiling the whole time. Yeah, I mean, he just has a certain level of showmanship that you need when you're a fighter because, again, it is entertainment. There is a crowd here. People want to see you. And when you have the love for the crowd and the sport like that, too, you just that energy pulls you through. Oh. Look at these big shots right. that he's landing here. Oh, nice big knee that kind of kind of folds Bailey over. You know, and it's like I said, what makes a great fighter a great fighter is that, I mean, outside the ring, they're usually humble people. When they get inside the ring, there's a amount of what I would call very functional narcissism. Yeah. Oh, big teep. And you're seeing a great demonstration of that right now. Another big knee. He's hit that same spot many, Again. many times. You know, enjoying the clinch, just, just feeling his opponent's energy, feeling when his opponent is on a single leg, feeling when he has the opportunity to turn him. We go in the last 10 seconds. Oh, but not a big hook that lands too, but just Bailey just continuing to fight all the way until the end of that third and final round. Three judges scored this bout identically, 29 to 28. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WKA New York State Junior Middleweight Champion, Sean the Machete Ellis. Well, congratulations to Sean Ellis on his New York State title. Again, uh, DeShore Bailey was undefeated up until this point, so, you know, tough they opponent. They walk out now with even records. Yeah.